I've been feeling pretty uh, lonely recently. Unmotivated, and it's not great that I don't really have any friends besides my family. I don't think that helps in any way. Um, I guess I just gotta stay positive and know that eventually this feeling will pass. But it's that feeling of why can't it pass sooner that's getting to me more than the other way around. Living on a sailboat definitely has its pros and its cons. But let's be a little more positive. Right now we are sailing to Greece, which is pretty friggin sick. We actually bought this boat in Greece about five years ago. So um, I'm pretty excited to go back and revisit and see all the cool places again. In the meantime though, we're sailing there. It's gonna take us all day and all night to get there. And yeah, it's like two o'clock right now. So uh, I'm gonna go make some ramen noodles. Let's go. Yes, it's uh, really friggin' rough and I'm not really feeling great. I'm in the kitchen, gonna cook up some food. Let's go. I've got some Indomie ramen, I don't know. I really don't want to be talking to the camera right now. I'm gonna be real, I feel like crap. I feel very tired, I want to go sleep. Which I'm gonna do after I eat. <laughs> you might wonder how we combat seasickness since I just brought it up. We don't really do anything about it, we kind of just let it happen. Um, you can't do much about it. We've been sailing the world for seven years now and we've tried almost everything and nothing really works. Just kind of going outside, getting some fresh air and sleeping it off because it'll go away eventually. You just gotta wait it out. And it depends uh, on the person. Like, I don't get super seasick, but my mom, she'll vomit. So, yeah. <laughs> Holy, stuff is falling everywhere. <laughs> That's sailing for you. There's a bunch of water on the floor coming from the fridge. I think I think we're taking on water. I think we're sinking. I think it's just there's water in the bottom of the fridge. I don't know. I don't know. Stuff breaks on boats all the time. I mean, your house is literally moving. I've been trying to set my camera up to film me eating, but it's just too rough. The boat keeps moving and my camera keeps falling over, so I'm gonna eat this. Yeah, it's gonna be really good because ramen's always good. Ramen's the best. And uh, then I'm gonna go sleep. Let's go. I am in my room and I wanted to show you guys that I got some plants the other day when we were in Turkey. Look at, look at how pretty they are. I mean, they just add to my room. It's great and they're cute, and I'm quirky, and I'm granola. Hashtag botanist. And now I'm gonna sleep and pretend like uh, it's not rough and I feel like I have to vomit and oh, very out of breath. So, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I slept for quite a while, got up, hung around, and then went back to sleep again. And it's like 11 o'clock now. My night shift is in an hour at 12, which is great stuff. Um, I mean, I'm not tired at all, so it'll be an easy night shift. I wanted to take a shower though. That's why I'm filming. I wanted to take a shower. Cause we have hot water from the engines. The engines have been on and they've been running for a while now and uh, them hot engines, well, cool thing is when they're on, the water heats up, so we uh, we have hot water. Yeah, no, there's probably not much of it, but I get to take a warm shower, and that beats a cold shower, so um, yeah, let's go. This is my shower. Yeah. It was 
lukewarm, but I'm not really complaining. <laughs> so you can't really take super long showers on boats because we have a water tank and there's only so much water in that tank. So showers are limited to about one or two minutes. It is um, really rough and rocky and I am struggling to keep my balance. <laughs> I had the worst headache before that shower. It sucked. That really sucked. I was I was not feeling good. The seasickness did get to me. But now I'm gonna go uh, do night shift. So yeah, let's go do night shift. <laughs> Okay, I'm out here. Uh, it's my shift. Turns out I had the time wrong. It was an hour earlier, so I just ended up watching 1978's animated Lord of the Rings with my sister for an hour, which was fun. Anyways, I'm on night shift, and I want to tell you guys what I have to do on night shift and yeah, all the fun stuff I get to do. I've already talked about this in the past, but just a few things I have to do is I have to make sure the wind angle stays the same if we have sails out, because if the wind angle changes, then our sails will mess up and bad stuff happens. I gotta make sure I handle storms correctly, and I gotta keep us on course and make sure the autopilot's all right. Basically, I'm keeping the boat going, so yeah. I'm probably just gonna sit and listen to music, maybe edit a YouTube video. Uh, I don't know, I'm still feeling really sick. I've got a bad headache. Um, staring at a screen doesn't really help. So yeah, I think music is gonna be my best bet. All right, well, I will check back in with you guys at the end of my shift. Ah, cool. Let's hope I don't fall overboard. What's up? Um, it is 2.44 a.m. I'm pretty tired. I'm ready to go lay my head on my pillow and fall asleep. I don't really feel seasick anymore, which is nice. Um, basically all of my shift, I just played guitar and chilled, you know? I'm gonna go wake up Jack because it's his shift now. And then, yeah, I'll go to sleep. That's night shifts. I'll see you guys in the morning. Let's go. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Um, we made it onto the dock here in Greece. Although I wasn't awake for that process. Everybody but me helped us get onto the dock. Um, I don't know why I wasn't up, but I slept right through it. I guess they didn't need me, which is cool. So, uh, but we're gonna go look around this area because it's gonna be super familiar and we just want that nostalgia, you know? So we're gonna go look around. Let's go. This is a cool beach because back when we were here, we were here in the summertime, it would, it would get really hot and we'd go swimming, so it was a good time. Yes, uh, it changed too much. <laughs> you, man. Welcome, welcome. Very nice. Bravo, bravo, bravo. walking around uh, Pythagoria. And it's, it's very nice. It's pretty cozy. Hey, it's a very, very pretty place. Broccoli for my mother. Alrighty, so now we're gonna head back to the boat and chill. We got a few things at the grocery store. Pretty cute little town here. Yeah, glad to be back in Greece. Let's go. Hello there. I'm on, I, I wanna make some pasta.
totally not watching carpool karaoke with Chris Martin while I wait for my water to boil. Guilty as charged. On a serious note though, Sunday's video went out about two hours ago and the amount of love and support I've seen on it is just crazy. I appreciate it so much that you guys love my filming, editing, and music creation for the video. When I started, I never really figured that a lot of y'all would like just watching me make bacon and just, I mean, doing normal boat things. They seem so boring to me when I edit them, but I guess you guys find them interesting, so I continue to show you guys. But I also do really enjoy making the videos, mainly the music. Music is, just, it's got my heart. I love music with all of my body, soul, whatever. I actually want to show you guys how I make music when I'm done eating, so uh, stay tuned for that. But yeah, freaking amazing. You guys are amazing. I love all of you so much. But uh, looks like my water's boiling. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this pasta now, and it's gonna be really freaking good. I mean, it's, it's gonna be normal. I eat this almost every other day. Okay, I'm not that healthy, but not all of us are perfect. And then after, I'm gonna make some music. I'm not really gonna talk about this pasta or how good it is, because I don't wanna make you guys jealous, and also I don't really think you care to watch me eat. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is how I make music. I've got this song I've been trying to write, but it sounds a little bit like this. As you can tell, I play the guitar. So here it is. You get the idea. It's pretty clean, clever, and cute. Ah, uh, so yeah, I think it sounds pretty cool, and I'd really like to make a song out of it. How exactly would I do that? Well, I've got my keyboard, I've got a guitar, I've got a few instruments with the help of this laptop and a handy dandy software called Logic Pro X. I can make it work. I already know I can make it work because I, I've made a lot of other songs like this one. Yeah, very uh, Turkish sounding. But now I want to make this one and I want to show you guys the process. So let's go. Got the headphones on, got my microphone. First things first, I'm just gonna record the intro that I've made for this. Brother, oh my gosh, my hair looks so dumb right now. I've been doing some thinking, and I'm pretty sure this will sound cool. I'm gonna add a wavy background, the entire background of the song. This is mainly going to help fill the song and also separate the intro from the main bit. So let's see if I can find some cool waves on the internet. I found a YouTube video of some waves. I think these will work. Just added the waves and listen to it now. Already sounds a million times better. Perfect. Now I gotta add the chorus. I don't know what it's called. Um, I love music, but I'm not very good with uh, music theory or whatever. Ah. Uh, fifth tries a charm, something like that. Why is my guitar out of tune? I am going to just skip forward to when I get this thing recorded because I'm gonna run up all the storage on my SD card. I'm really frustrated right now, but I've taken a breather and I've decided to add in a drum beat to help me get my tempo correct. So uh, this is what that drum beat sounds like. Interruption. I can't show you what I was about to show you because it sounds terrible. I have been editing it and mixing it over the over the past few days and now I'm ready to show you it. What I had that night was pretty terrible and uh, I've made it a lot better since, but yeah, I'm just super self-conscious, I guess, for no reason about this. But also, check out how pretty this is. <laughs> Freaking gorgeous. Anyways, here's what I made.
But yeah, that's what I was able to make. Um, hope you enjoyed that process. I added a lot to it that uh, I didn't show you guys, but you get the idea. Just kind of putting stuff together until it sounds right. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward. But that's the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Go check out my Instagram if you want to see more of me. And uh, yeah, let's go. Whose good song is this? Ooh, this is good. <laughs>